In this video, I want to show you my minimal setup for every project. You should use a grid in your designing because it offers consistency, predictability, and you have fewer decisions to make, and also offers nice vertical and horizontal rhythm. There are two types of grid, you have soft grid and hard grid. Hard grid means having guides vertically and horizontally, and then designing by respecting them to the pixel. I find that distracting and limiting, so I use 8 point soft grid, which means I apply increments of 8 to paddings, margins and sizes whenever possible. I will link some nice reads about uh, 8 point grid in description. Now, let's head to Figma and see a very simple setup that will speed you up. The only thing I do is tweak one little setting called nudge amount. Default is 10, I reduce it to 8. This way you can use shortcut combo shift plus arrow to nudge objects around while respecting the soft 8 point grid without even thinking about it. I usually put two elements together and then nudge one of them to be sure they're respecting 8 point grid and with tidy up option you can get to very clean designs in no time. It's time for a modular scale. You want to use it for defining typography. In essence, it's your magic number that helps you define font sizes and line heights. Typography is a huge interesting field, so I will just scratch the surface here. I will link uh, my favorite book in description. Now let's go to browser and see what tools can help us. There are plenty of tools that can help you define typography set up for your project. If you just google modular scale, this is the first page you will find and I have used it many times. However, there is another site with more options and it's called Grid Lover. You can test line heights with your font size and modular scale. This will surely help you make a decision faster. Once you are happy with your setup, it's time to head to Figma to start using it. But before doing that, remember you can use different ratios for sizes and line heights. Just make sure it's legible. Also, headings can have smaller ratio for line height than body text and as you reach smaller font sizes, you can tweak layer spacing to compensate. And to be quite honest, I had to redo my script for the rest of the video because a couple of days ago Figma delivered better text rendering. I prepared nice hacks how to stay consistent and be fast when it comes to line heights, but luckily that's not needed anymore. Now let's go to Figma and see how to use this feature. To use fancy new text rendering, click on the advanced type and click on update. If you want to update all text elements, go to menu and search all text layers, click on that option and the rest is the same. Now let's say you decided to use 1.6 ratio, just put 160% for line height and you're done. That means make line height 160% of the font size. And that's it for today. Now you have a nice setup that will help you produce some kick-ass designs and help front-end developers being precise with following mockups. I'll be covering using Figma from developer and product manager angle soon, so stay tuned. And for now, bye bye.